Hey there, happy day, Sharon Horn Elfson here, also known as Sharon, I'm a grandma. How do you use the nitty gritty to supersize and grow your business? Well, nitty gritty is an, a 20th century, actually, it's a pretty modern expression. It's a 20th century African-American expression that means to focus on the small things, focus on the small, specific heart of the problem or the heart of a matter or the basic components. Grit is, of course, small granules of something and they're actually often the most important part. Think grit is used to make sandpaper, grit is used in abrasives and to um, sort things out or to sift things out or to clean things. Obviously I have a manufacturing background, I'm thinking of all the uses of grit, the actual physical uses of grit. But in a broader sense, it means the small important components of something. So for example, in your business, if you're growing your business, we all do projects, we all get involved with different vendors, We um, do improvement projects in our business and getting down to the nitty-gritty or paying attention to the nitty-gritty means what are the most important components or aspects of a project that get us to the goal that get us the result that we want and as long as we're focusing on those key components those main things those things that are at the heart of the matter the heart of the project and we're spending our time on that instead of all of the other millions of things or minutia that we could worry about or think about or get involved in we will get to our result. We will get a successful project. The more things we let in that aren't really germane or important to the project, the longer the project will take. At least that's been my experience. Um, so what are the basic steps involved in any process or any project that you want to accomplish or achieve for your business? Well, they're, they're usually just a handful. There's usually just a handful of steps that you need to do that are the nitty gritty basic steps to accomplish anything that you want. Now, if you really want to use the nitty gritty and what's important to grow and supersize your business, ask yourself, what is most important to my customer? Because we can do all kinds of projects that we want to improve our business and make things work more smoothly and better. But when we're choosing among projects, when we're choosing and setting priorities, I say there's gonna be a huge component in there that takes into account what is most important to my customer? What result will have the biggest impact on our customer satisfaction, on our customer experience, on our customer's way of viewing us, on the impact that it has on our brand, which is how our customers view us. If we're not taking our customers into account when we're producing or creating anything or doing projects or setting priorities for our business, what is the real reason that we're doing it? Because we do everything to serve and give and provide value to our customers and they in exchange give us money and give us other resources. So that really ought to be one of our biggest priorities. Ask yourself, do you have a customer component? Do you consider the customer when you're doing projects? I know I've worked for a lot of companies where, you know, yeah, we kind of consider the customer, but for the most part, internally, our focus was on optimizing our individual departments or optimizing our owner's equity or optimizing something that wasn't necessarily giving the customers an amazing experience. And a lot of those projects succeeded, some of them failed, but had we added the how is this going to impact our customers component, we probably would have paid attention to different pieces of grit that were really important and that should have been added to some of those projects that would have made them much more successful and given us much better results. So today, think about the nitty gritty. Think about the basic components, the heart of the matter, the most important part of your communication, of your messages to other people that you interact with, as well as to your customer. Think about those things and ask yourself, am I taking this back and really focusing on the pieces that are important or am I letting all kinds of other things come into play? Because the more you can filter out the other things and pay attention to the basic process, the ba I think that's why I love processes and systems so much, is it makes me actually sit down and think about what is step one, step two, step three, and is this important or is this just a, an unnecessary step that is something we can choose not to do because it's really not adding as much value to the end result as it is taking up our time, our energy, and other resources. That's it. Go out, make an amazing day. If I can help you in any way, hit me up in the comments below. Catch you tomorrow.